Romeo School Superintendent Dr. Campbell is here with details on some upcoming events you might want to attend. Thanks, Jeannie. I want to let your viewers know of some upcoming special events in Romeo Community Schools that highlight what we are all about, preparing our sons and daughters for life after a 12th grade education. Our school district does a solid job of laying a strong foundation for that next step in a young person's life, preparing for adult life by seeking a career in a chosen field. We are committed to giving our students many opportunities to learn about what the future holds for them. For example, in mid-February, we staged a career choices night for students to meet more than 60 professionals to ask them about their careers and to seek advice on making plans to enter a similar career. Our professionals were you, our local business people, who willingly gave of themselves to man a table and answer our students' questions. This is my opportunity to thank you for providing this service to our students and their parents. Looking ahead, we are eagerly anticipating College Night 2010. On the evening of Tuesday, March 16th, from 6.30 to 8 p.m., you are invited to bring your child to the Romeo Engineering and Technology Center to meet with college representatives from over 55 colleges and universities, both in-state and out-of-state, as well as to meet with seven trade schools and staff from every branch of the military. This has been a successful and well-attended evening in the past, and I know the students and parents from fifth grade on up are really looking forward to it. To make this year's college night even more special, we have decided to expand the day by declaring Tuesday, March 16th, College Day, or as we like to also call it, This Is My Future, for all staff and students. On that day, we are asking that everyone who is a part of the Romeo Community School family that includes children in our daycare programs, students in K-12, teachers, bus drivers, custodians, crossing guards, volunteer parents, secretaries, teaching assistants, you name it, to wear college wear or college colors of a school you attended, where you want to attend, or one that you support. Everyone does have a college they root for, don't they? You can wear maize and blue, green and white, U of M shirts, MSU shirts, Eastern Michigan University, Central, Western, Wayne State. Well, you get the picture. Children should also feel comfortable coming to school in garb of a future occupation they are already thinking about entering. I have one grandson who would wear his play lab coat because he is definitely going to be a scientist. Another one of my grandsons would wear his fireman outfit because he is determined to be a firefighter one day. Well, we, we will be sending out email communications to inform and remind parents of sending their children to school on the 16th in college wear or trades wear, and we hope the whole Romeo community will join us in wearing their college logo or colors that day. Finally, I want to share another opportunity to learn about careers in law and criminal justice. On Saturday, March 27th, the partners of Judge Dennis LaDuke of the 42nd District Court, Romeo Community Schools, Macomb Community College, Greater Romeo Washington Chamber of Commerce, and the Northwest Zero Tolerance Coalition are staging their annual forum on careers in law and criminal justice. This forum will be held at the Romeo Engineering and Technology Center from 8.30 to noon. Area students, parents, and the general public are all welcome and encouraged to explore the following fields and career options. County and state police, county and district judges, prosecutors, the Juvenile Justice Center, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Department of Natural Resources, the Drug Enforcement Agency, the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Division, and the Department of Homeland Security. This is an excellent opportunity for young men and women from our area high schools and colleges to meet in small roundtable groups and even one-on-one -on -one with leading individuals in those fields. The forum is free and open to all. A continental breakfast will be provided by our own Romeo Culinary Arts students. So, with your child, won't you think about taking advantage of these terrific opportunities to join us this month? I hope to see you during the day on March 16th, College Day, wearing your favorite school colors, that night for College Night, and March 27th for the Law Day Forum on Careers in Law and Criminal Justice. If you want more information, please visit our Romeo Community School website. And remember, it's really all about the most special people in the world, your children, and their future. Thank you.
my name is Shirley Ann Jackson. I was born on August 5th, 1946 in Washington, D.C. When I was a young girl, my dad taught my siblings and I how to build cars, which got me interested in science. I'm famous for math and science and being the first African-American woman to get her Ph.D. at MIT. MIT stands for Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Before I went to MIT, I graduated as valedictorian from Theodore Roosevelt High School in Washington, D.C. I went to MIT and was the only African-American woman working on theoretical physics at AT&T Bell Lab. I worked at Bell Lab and met a fellow physicist named Morris A. Washington. Later in 1979, I married Morris A. Washington and had a son named Alan Jackson. I accomplished making Telstar, which is a satellite, which is a communication satellite that was shot into space from NASA. I, Shirley Ann Jackson, encouraged others to believe and to not let any obstacles get in the way of your dreams. Long gone. Hi, my name is Ernie Howell. I was born on January 25th, 1918 in Washington, Georgia. At age of 21, I went to serve in the Marines for four years. Then I left to be announcing games for the Crackers on WSB Radio. In 1948, I became the only announcer in baseball history to be traded for a baseball player. I was a Major League Baseball announcer for 55 years, 42 of them with the Detroit Tigers. In that time, I announced over 8,500 games. One, one, one of my biggest goals with the Tigers came in 1968-1984 World Series victories. However, my biggest goal came in 1941 when I, when I married my beautiful wife, Lulu. You, the Tiger fans, are the greatest fans of all. No questions about that. Thank you very much. My name is Dwight D. Eisenhower. I was born on October 14, 1890 in Denison, Texas. I moved to Abilene, Kansas when I was two. My friends nicknamed me Ike and it stayed with me for the rest of my life. My life in the military started when I went to West Point Military Academy. I always thought a soldier's place was where the fighting went on. My graduating class was called the class the stars fell on because so many of my classmates were generals later in the military. I married my wife Mammy in 1912. I was lucky enough to become one of the first to become a five-star general. I helped carry out Operation Overlord and led Allied forces in the victory in World War II. In 1953, I became the 34th president. When I came to the presidency, the country was in a rather unhappy state. I tried to create an atmosphere of greater serenity. I died on March 28, 1969. 